Second half of February. Interesting to see how some of these teams compare. Taking a look at Milwaukee. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And checking out Chicago, they've taken this ride all the way down the stretch. Few people thought they could maintain this astonishing display of dominance. Now, here's Mobley. He has yet to score. Mitchell kicks to Garland. The Cavaliers again can't hit. And here are the Bulls now. They're on an 11-3 run. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Bulls got his second basket of the night. The Cavaliers trail by 10. Levert the pass to Mitchell. Takes it inside. Oh, and the dunk by Mitchell. What you love about Donovan Mitchell, not only does he explode into his moves, he finishes with authority. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Now, here's DeRozan. His last outing, 16 points for him. Banks. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. DeRozan's got three assists in the game. Last game for the Cavaliers, they picked up the W against Philadelphia. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. One of the cases where hype fails to tell you the whole story. Chicago with the ball. Eight-point game. To the inside. Plays it up and banks it in. Ten points for Dub. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. This is my type of approach. Get some high percentage looks. Then later, you can play inside out. Allen finds Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. The shot's good from Banks. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Ball against Garland. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Now, here's Ball. He has five. Banks kicks to DeRozan. Back to Banks. Six to shoot. Here's Vucevic. Out to DeRozan. Shoots over LaVert. And DeMar DeRozan the bucket on the assist by Vucevic. Well, that is one situation that DeRozan is huge for. He can bail out a team with the shot clock ticking down. Mitchell passes to Mobley. Back to Mitchell. It's Allen on the win. It's all in by the Bulls. Vucevic has got four rebounds in this game. Here's Banks. Cavaliers with the rebound. They're coming off that win against Philadelphia. Well, in that one, they just had everything working offensively. It's a lot of fun when you get into that kind of a group. You know, I love what the coaches did tonight. They pushed the right buttons time and time again. And here is Ball. Following the three-pointer by Donovan Mitchell. Banks gets to DeRozan. Stolen by Levert. To the paint. it out to Garland. Wound up there for Allen. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. And here's a look at numbers for Doug. He's been dominant over the last month. He's averaging 51 points, 7 rebounds, and 5 assists. Uh, to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. Because he gives you someone to build your offense around. You can count on his nightly production. That one go. It's counted. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Here's Garland. No scoring in this one. Pass to Allen. Inside. Here's Mitchell. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. 
With the majority of the season behind us, GA, what becomes the focus for teams that have postseason aspirations? Kevin, ideally, this is the time of year that you want to be hitting your stride. So you have to make sure everyone's on the same page and that you're united in the same goal. Zach Levine's checked in for Chicago. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Back to ball. Jared Allen grabs the miss. And so Levert will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. They trail by nine points. Here's Mitchell. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Garland. Mitchell's got 12 in the game. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. And the shot is good. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Cavaliers shooting just about an even 40% to start. A three ball. Another three for Cleveland. Taking things into his own hands this quarter. Trying to keep his team afloat. Levine gets to Banks. Dishes the ball. Banks against Mitchell. Outside, ball. Launches it. Rebounded by Donovan Mitchell. The Cavaliers trail by six. from Garland. Up and in, it's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. And the Cavs. For the past month, these have been the most productive NBA rookie scores. Look at Dub leading the league in points per game. Such a great player. And those numbers have started to set him apart offensively from most of the other rookies in the league. Down low. Outside ball. Outside banks. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And, Greg, you talk about rim protection. Cleveland can really shut down the lane, can't they? Yeah, I mean, they have the personnel to do it. Big front court and quick guards who can keep ball handlers in front of them. Quarter two, and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Taking a look at the Bulls. They've got Drummond. DeRozan out there with Levine. Then it's Dub, and it's Ball in at the point. On defense, the Bulls. Mitchell passes to Niang. Here's Merrill, guarded by Levine. Lock at six. Top of the key. I like the defense there by Zach. Stays aware and gets himself in perfect position. And with that shot, the Cleveland lead is cut to just one point on the basket from DeMar DeRozan. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. To the paint. And Mitchell gets it to go. Mitchell's got 17. Continuing to stoke the fire, his shot making has been absolutely superb. To the middle, here's Banks. Kicks to Drummond, uncovered, and misses it off the right side of the rim. Woo, the defense gets away with a late rotation. That's a shot he normally makes. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Now here's Levine. A 14-point game for him in the win against Atlanta. And not only was he creating for himself, he was setting up teammates with good shots. Here's Merrill after the made shot from Zach Levine. Niang with the ball. Here's Merrill. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Bean passes the ball. 
Here's Banks, the kick out to Ball. Fast break, here we go. Niang in the corner. Here's Merrill. And a miss there on the triple. Aggressive closeout on a great jump shooter. That's how you defend against the three. And finished off by DeRozan. Nice speed from Lonzo Ball to the wide open man. He has a good eye for those openings. Pass to Niang. And here is Mitchell. With some art, and the layup is good. Mitchell's got 19 points. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Hey, Kevin. Dub in that last game against Atlanta had a huge game. He finished with 66 points, and he was dialed in with his shooting. Very few misses out there. Those were video game numbers he put up in that last game. Boy, it had the league a buzz. We'll see what he's got in store tonight. Kevin? Excellent, David. Thank you. Greg, how impressive was it watching him completely take over? Unstoppable. Uh, they won that game because of his effort and just his overall relentlessness. And that's what every player has control of, his level of activity. It allows you to impact the game even if the shot isn't falling. Go into the rack with energy and the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defender. In a close game like this, everything has to be challenged and everything has to be earned. Here's Jerome. Scoreless thus far. Here's Mel. A three-pointer no good. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. Yeah, they got into a terrific flow offensively, but a lot of that was because the defense they were facing was mediocre. Yeah, it seemed like they've got every shot they wanted. I'm sure they wish every game could be that way. Mitchell, that shot is good. He has made eight while missing only four. That's 67% shooting. Thanks against Mitchell. Back to Banks. Good D by Mitchell. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. Jerome, good. And the Cavaliers lead by one. And that's what the pump fakes there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around him. DeRozan passes to Drummond to the inside. Banks, no good. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just could deliver. Back to Drummond. Lee Baz was put in just the right spot. Drummond's got his first bucket of the night. They are attacking the rim and getting great results. And the Cavaliers call time here. Coaches say, GA, the league has a problem when it's punishing the retaliators and not the instigators. Do they have a point? Kevin, I think so. But for any scuffle, it's worth asking who started it. And that's what we do in life normally, right? And the Bulls with some changes. Vucevic comes in for Drummond. And it's Williams in for DeMar DeRozan. Mobley dishes to Garland. It's hauled in by the Bulls. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Banks. And yes, it's good. And his stroke has been dead on from the outside. I mean, inside, outside. It just doesn't matter. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. Scoring breakdown for Chicago. They're unselfish. They're passing the ball well, setting up teammates, playing team basketball, and their focus. And another thing they've done so well is convert fast break opportunities. Great job trusting their guys and getting those easy ones. and didn't have a single free throw in that first quarter, but he's...